everybody so I got some questions right people ask questions they ask questions I have to come up with answers so here we go what we have here today been asked because I talk about the pickup to nauseum and I will preface we're gonna have a little chit chat about voodoo custom pickups all right so the pickup in question is the voodoo Custom pickups, Tesseract. This pickup is fucking redonkulous. <laughs> So as you can tell, it's alive, it's clear. You get articulation, you get that gain push that you want from your amp. I'm using, by the way, I need the headstock, the Fortin Sigil, and I'm also running through the Fortin 2x12, all right? So yes, using a little higher end gear, but really, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what I plug into, if everything I have sounds fucking phenomenal. I just I haven't used a Sigil in a while, so I figured, fuck it, let's plug into it, right? So this pickup is just hot as fuck, all right? It's just hot, but you get that clarity. So when you're doing stuff like... And say you wanna do some single note stuff in there. It's a fantastic pickup. I can't say enough things. I hate this fucking guitar. <laughs> Why do I keep it? One, it's the only guitar that was bought for me. It was bought for me by my late wife, Shelly. And yes, I even picked it out, but this guitar was an epic heap of shit. It's a Michael Kelly Patriot. It's had a lot of work done to it. And I feel bad because Michael Kelly's come back uh, with the original owners and have done amazing things. So this was done during that, after they had sold the company, another company had bought it, and kind of ruined their fucking name. No reflection on what they're doing today. I'm just gonna put that out there before all the fanboys go, fuck you. No, fuck you. Speaking of fuck you, you fucking cunts. Yeah, you heard me right, cunts. That wanna give my boy Rich at Voodoo Custom Pickups a fucking hard time because you're not getting your shit in a timely manner. This dude is, one man has a family and a real job, all right? The pickups he does in his spare time. And sometimes he's up to 1, 2 o'clock in the morning on the weekends making pickups. And just so you know, you can't make these things in five minutes. It takes time. And he painstakingly takes all the time it takes to make that pickup the best it can be. When you get a pickup from Rich, it's phenomenal. Case in point, 
I've been waiting six months for my next two Tesseracts. Six months. Have I complained once? No. Have I ribbed on him a little bit? Of course I have. Because he's my buddy. And if I don't pick on my buddies, I'm not being a good buddy. All right? Yeah. I do. I pick on him. But some of the stuff I'm seeing about some people posting shit about him, fuck you. All right? Like, legit. Bag deep. Extra girthy, veiny fucking apparatus in your shit hut. Fuck you. Because this guy is awesome. And furthermore, in some of those comments, his wife took a fucking firing. You guys have no idea who she is, what she does, anything. Other than giving you crap because you take a massive steamy smelly shit at her house, she doesn't say a thing about nothing. And 9 out of 10 times, the steamy shit thing's just fucking funny. I think it's funny. So if she's trying to bust my ass, she's not doing it because I think it's fucking funny because I did take a horrendous shit at their house. Which, by the way, is where these pickups are made. It's not like a company that has a building and he goes in at 7 o'clock every morning and works until 5 o'clock. No. It's in his basement. And he makes this stuff all by hand in Rhode Island, USA. That's right. Everything is wound by Rich. All the bobbins are made on a 3D printer, which takes fucking time by, well, a 3D printer, but set up by Rich. All right? Give the guy a fucking break. Because you're going to get a pickup that's going to be like this, man. <laughs> It just is. It's worth the wait. Stop giving the man shit. And again, I'm using a Fortin Sigil through a Fortin 2x12 cab, mic'd up with a really shitty $14 pile mic that is a clone of an SM57. Someday, I'll have a real SM57. But for now, all you whiny bitches, that thing sounds pretty fucking good. All right? And I got a lapel mic. So y'all can stop talking about how shitty my fucking vocal audio is. I'm still dialing it in because I'm trying to get it so it doesn't pick up the pick noise so much. But the fuck do I know? I got it off Amazon for $6.95 and it's fucking working, son. Let me tell you what. All right. Very cool. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry I had to tell you to fuck off if you're one of the people that is giving Rich a hard time. But seriously, 
seriously, give the guy a fucking break. He's doing the best he can. And yes, sometimes it's simpler just to go, dude, I'm getting right on it, which in his universe could mean any amount of time, right? So don't be an asshole, all right? Be kind to the man. He's doing the best he can. If you stress him out, he's just going to stop building these fucking things. And then we're not going to have awesome pickups. Personally, I don't want that. Because I fucking love that Tesseract pickup. It's, other than the Nazgul, it's the best pickup I've ever played in my fucking life. The, the Nazgul is great. This is great. Um, if I had to pick between the two... Um, Probably pick the Tesseract, to be honest with you, because I can pick the color. Like, look at that. He made a sweet, sweet purple one. Because Shelly's favorite color is purple, so. You got purple on the silver. I love that. That is just an awesome looking pickup, right? If I ever do a signature guitar or have a custom build guitar, I'm getting a pickup made just like this, or I'll rip it out of this one and put it in. <laughs> I love it. And Rich is a good dude. This is what's awesome about small companies is that you can get to know your builder. Be kind to him. Why? It's going to serve you better. What if you piss this guy off? And he's like, well, fuck that Chuck monkey. I'm going to do the guy behind him just because, well, fuck it. The other guy's being super cool. You could end up getting yourself thrown to the bottom of a big pile of orders. The reason why people order them is because they're proven. They're tested. They're amazing pickups. All right? So, again, as always in my videos, I like to preface, keep music evil. Bring metal to the children. Don't be a fucking dick. You heard? You heard me? Don't be a dick, motherfucker.